you know, people love like ghost stories and like local lore and like, what fits that description better than moonshine? There's this grit and kind of like dark glory to it. You know, that's sort of like renegade, small man against the law, like very much like strong family bonds. And so I think there's a lot about moonshining culture and the way we think about it that fits in with, you know, parallels about Southern identity. I think the history of who all is doing this, it's not just Scotch-Irish mountain people in Appalachia, it's, it's everybody. It's people who were enslaved and are now no longer enslaved. It's people who were owning plantations to people who had very small sharecropping farms and were completely economically disenfranchised. It's not just men, it's women too. Part of what we're trying to do is understand that better, but also tell a story that's a little bit more nuanced, that isn't just a certain group's narrative of the past.